You guys work with uh, bands and performers? And yeah, we do. We have a, an exclusive roster. We do have a non-exclusive roster as well. Stacy's band, Let It Rock, is um, our token 80s tribute band. Nice. We have, uh, yeah, I know. It's for, just to give you a little history, Roger was my agent when I was in L.A. Guns for, for almost six years. So he used to be with a company called ARM Entertainment, which handles Brett Michaels and... Uh, Doc and, and Warrant and a lot of other Firehouse things from the genre. And Firehouse. And, um, so that's how our relationship with Roger uh, developed. Up. We've known each other for years. So. Very cool. Yeah, so we're kind of this our West Coast chapter, so to speak. Yeah, we really yeah. want to develop the market. And we have, you know, not the hugest bands on the roster, but they're kind of uh, good for the time. You know, they're affordable bands. We just got Gary Rich Rath, who was with REO Speedwagon, yeah. wrote most of the major hits for 12 years speed wagon, yeah. you know like head east arena rock more like more like that sticks kansas vibe and, right you know we have a lot of blues acts not huge here but huge regionally and um cena Earhart, she's going to be in germany she just released an album it charted number 12 on the billboard blues charts so um, a big variety a lot of tributes we have a lot of tributes already here in vegas so i don't know how much you know of that i'm going to bring but um like I said, it's just a great roster, and it's called Evergreen Music Network because we really, um, we we work with pretty much only great people. We, there's no ego, there's no divas, and um, you know we just want to create something. Well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to create something, you know, like a, bust all the myths about agents and and you know the, the music industry is so different now. So there's no room for for ego and divas you know we all just need to help each other out basically that's when absolutely gets yeah yeah for sure yeah great well, unfortunately there's still quite a few of those people out yeah there we'll weed them out though so <laughs> it's okay they can do their thing we'll do ours and just like bring nice people into the network and yep. stacy's the band he's working with let it rock it's a you know they've all i think came from bands that were there's a few little stinkers in there so the guys seeing them together you know, it's it's amazing. It's just fun. You know, there's no, uh, again, no divas. Drama. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you in uh, L.A. Guns? Uh, ten years. Yeah. Uh, nice. uh, left in 2000, end of 2012. Um, and uh, I've been working with this project for uh, roughly about a year. And it's uh, myself, um, Oz Fox from Striper. Um, there's about actually seven guys in the band that I rotate, but uh, the main lineup is uh, Oz Fox from Striper, Jeff Duncan from Armored Saint, Sean McNabb from Dawkin, uh, Jamie St. James from Black and Blue, who also was in Warrant for four years, wow. and uh, Jimmy DeAnda, uh, original Bullet Boy Strong. Nice. So, uh, I really in a mate, the talent in this band is just in insane. Uh, it's so good, and um, it's a stylized Sunset Strip era show we do stuff from all of our collective bands uh but we also have original material but then we also do stuff from all of our peers from that era so and there's a little video production with it so it's just a it's a great it's a great time it's kind of seeing the best of of everything when you come see us it's a very high energy show uh so it's, it's going over real well we've done about 10 12 shows and uh, uh response has been amazing we, we debuted here at the chrome showroom um, oh, nice! Yeah, so that was our first show, was and back, in, uh, January, back yeah. in January, and that was the first time that you know, as long as both of us have been around music, and he's been playing music, we hadn't heard of four walling because we're so green to uh, everybody in Vegas. Four walls! <laughs> we, oh we, my God! Their, their that's walls, recommended that's, for. Uh, that's the uh, yeah, first. The that's the first heart. word in your vocabulary <laughs> like, when you move out here. Yeah, it uh, it shaved. Yeah, off my yeah life. we really. I think it shaved a few years <laughs> off our life, but it was yeah. a great experience, and it kind of you know really just it had to happen. We had a great room. If have you? I don't know if you've been up to the Chrome. And yeah. Fortunately, it's kind of hard to fill, but it was you know it was an amazing. Amazing space, actually. We did pretty good. Um, and since then, we've played at Vamped uh, a couple times. And, uh, That's a good room, too. Oh, yeah. oh amazing yeah. sound. Corey and Danny are just wonderful, and the staff there, and uh, they've been so good to us. So um, we've had a couple of great nights there, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now with your uh, with your band, mm -hmm. uh, let it rock. It's eighties. It's an eighty rock, eighty metal, it's all eighties. Uh, L A metal, yeah. So we do you know stuff from Black and Blue and Warrant and uh, L A Guns and uh, uh, Bullet Boys and Doc and um, plus some original material. Uh, but we also do like you know uh, 
uh, Rat and GNR and stuff, uh, Molly and, and yeah, so. Uh, it's cool, and can we kind of put our own flair to it, so, um, like I said, the chemistry in this band, it really, you can see it on stage when, when you watch this band, it's just, it's, it's, uh, everybody's just having such a great time, you know. Um, so it's cool, it's, it's re very refreshing uh, to me as a musician to, uh, you know, uh, play with some other other guys, you know, because it's been LA Guns for such, such a long time. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really happy with the way things are developing and it just keep getting better as the months go on and stuff like that. So uh, the idea is really play a lot and tour more uh, next year. Yeah, booking and, season's coming up, so Evergreen is going to be at IEBA, of course, which is the huge entertainment buyers for people that don't know, um, convention. So let it rock evergreen um it's just it's, they're gonna hit it hard you know because we got a late start this year because evergreen is brand new they just started in january so um yeah we'll be seeing a lot more of our bands out there especially let it rock because they are very high profile it's like the logo is very it's more than just the band we're really trying to develop the brand of let it rock um stacy had a club for a little while that is gonna re we're gonna revisit that and I don't know, a month or so. And Are you going to do, like, festivals and things like that? Oh, yeah, that's the goal, you know, is to do some of the bigger shows, really get the guys out on the road. That's awesome. Yeah. We did one this summer. It was really cool. Um, it's a festival that I did back in 2008 with L.A. Guns uh, in Chicago, Taste of Lombard, and uh, we went over really well. It's July 3rd that we played. and uh, That's kind of like the bite of Vegas here, right? They go out and get mm -hmm. to sample some of the food that's mm -hmm. here in town and all that stuff, and yeah. have a lot of bands playing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Vegas is, I'm still overwhelmed by there's so much here, you know, I can kind of, I have free reign to go kind of all over the states, but I've just been, the last couple of months, I'm like, I gotta tap into my new city, because it's just... Right, I lived here a long time <laughs> a long before stuff. I knew everything you yeah. could do, and then mm -hmm. I became a, when I became a concierge, uh, that's when you really, like, holy crap, there's a lot to do. Yeah, they're really, it's really, and, and it's, yeah, it's overwhelming, I'm... I get up, I wake up in the middle of the night of all the things I got to do or reach out to or people I need to talk to. And, but it's awesome. I feel excited. We left L.A. and I feel like Vegas is only one way to go and it's up, you know, and it's, mm -hmm. we can already see it just this past year or so, hopefully. Yeah. It's kind of like the new L.A., you know, everybody's kind of, because uh, a lot of guys are moving from L.A. and they're like, it's it's cool. Uh, there's a good community vibe here mm -hmm. and, um, you know, people support live music here. Um, and uh, <laughs> the clubs don't, but everybody else, everybody else does. <laughs> um, so uh, you know, it, it's it's been dead in LA for for many years, and now the House of Blues is closing, and you know the Key Club is now a dance club, and it's, it's so just, hard to imagine yeah. the House of Blues so not sad. being there. Yeah. I used to hang out there when I yeah. when I was in Cali. Yeah. Such a great oh, on location. on a flip note, what is kind of you know, uh, the positive out of that, that, you know, the whiskey is really the only really place left to play um, there. And, you know, so when you do play there, it's packed. Uh, Let It Rock played there uh, in June, and it was, uh, it was, it was amazing. It was, it was packed, and we played a Thursday night, too. So wow. it, that yeah. was one good thing. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of a shadow of its former self to look back and go, what a music mecca it was. Um, so uh, that's what's cool about Vegas. That it's kind of really developing a really cool scene here. So. Yeah. The, the rainbow Agreed. closes, that's it. Then we we'll <laughs> right? go have a, a funeral. Yeah. There'll be way more I know. people here. Yeah. Yeah. There, was, uh, there was a band, uh, there was a bar in uh, L.A. that we used to do shows that all the time the coconut teaser i forget oh, what oh yeah and uh, on the back patio yeah it was it was awesome yeah. uh and they were like we tried to explain maybe we're gonna have comedians we're gonna have bands we're gonna uh -huh. have this, and they were like we're not sure if that's gonna work so we'll put you downstairs right and so there's a downstairs there yeah. originally yeah <laughs> that's what everybody's like there's a downstairs <laughs> so we went to uh, we went there and uh we had this guy there his name was uh his name is bill arkin and just the funniest guy mm -hmm. and there was a band that was playing upstairs at the time, and we had packed this little bar. I mean, people couldn't even move downstairs. And this guy, he starts, uh, his whole bit was that he he writes uh, he writes music for the porn industry. And so he'll throw, so he'll, be, he'll just throw out the name of a, 
and he'll just make up a porn, and he'll be like, "You might have, you might have heard this one in the movie called uh, uh, Assless Master, or something Assless like that." Or he'd be like, oh, <laughs> "Honey, honey, I fucked a kid," or something like that. <laughs> and it got and it got so like loud with laughter. Right. The band upstairs stopped. Really? Wow. Because they were like. Everybody that they were playing for was in was downstairs, oh. and so uh, the uh, the guys they from the Coconut like Teaser was like, "Well, they did like, we'd you. like you to come back next weekend, and we're gonna move you upstairs." Awesome. <laughs> that great. But yeah, that was a cool little. That was yeah. cool. That I know it's not great. open anymore, but yeah, that was. Now it's some kind of a uh, restaurant I don't dance know what it is. something. Yeah, fancy, it's fancy now. <laughs> Times are changing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to I used to hang out down there. We used to do comedy shows all over the place down there. It was. So fun, I miss it. I think LA, she needs a facelift like yeah. everyone else that's had one there. It's to just turn it's off sad. Reboot. Yeah. Vegas gets one every five years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the roads are better <laughs> here. That's for sure. Yeah, so so how long have you been in the music business uh, besides playing for geez, LA Guns? Um, going on, to, uh, wow, uh, to 26 years or so. I started playing clubs when I was like 17. Yeah. Uh, way back in 1987. Stacy's a comic. So, sit to 86. 86. Um, That's when I was born. Yeah. Oh. 80, 80, um, <laughs> really, pro- professionally, um, you know, uh, from like 89 on and then uh, I grew up in Toronto. And then uh, in the early 90s I joined a, a band called Rocks Gang. Um, which was a band signed to Virgin Records out of Florida. Uh, made a little bit of a splash. Um, not a huge, huge band, but uh, most 80s metal people know that. It's like band. a cult band almost. Yeah, they weren't huge, huge. Not like LA Guns or Skid Row or anything. Bands. Anyways, that got, kind of got my start, my name out there, and, and uh, I did a bunch of albums with them, and then moved to LA in uh, early 2000, and uh, joined LA Guns in 2003. So. It's funny, you know, over the last... 18 years, 20 years, I've only been in two bands, two or three bands. Um, that was together a long time. You That's know? pretty good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've had a good career, you know. Um, I've toured the world and been in every music magazine and videos and records. I was, I was blessed to have done three records with uh, the late, great Andy Johns, uh, who was uh, produced records for 40 years, uh, Zeppelin, Stones, Van Halen, right. Cinderella, Autograph, uh, Eddie Money, Rod Stewart, this <clears> goes on. Um, was very fortunate to get very close with him before his untimely death last year. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm very grateful for, for a great music career. So um, It's funny because, you know, it's like when you, you know, coming out of Valley Guns after 10 years and kind of, you know, just had to restart my whole, even though I very established, it's um, it's a whole new beginning. It's 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 oh, kind of yeah. scary, you know. It's mm-hmm. like you've got to start kind of from scratch. But yep. so, been very fortunate that in the quick amount of time, you know, a year doesn't sound quick, but uh, uh, that oh, it's this, quick. yeah, <laughs> it's it, quick. it does. <laughs> Especially the older you get, uh, that the Let It Rock has developed so quickly and uh, garnered a good amount of fans and uh, you know. Great shows. I mean, we played Taste of Lombard. It was like four thousand people. I was like, we were That's headlining, awesome. and we played the brand new Hard Rock Casino um, in Sioux City, Iowa, uh, and packed it. And it was like, like, wow, this is it's just really good. And people are getting what we're doing. You know, they're they're really. It's getting funny. It. it doesn't seem like there's much to get, and then they'll come and see, it and they'll go, oh, I get it. And we're like. What, what's to understand? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this would be a good idea. See? Yeah, and you know? it's, we don't. We, you People know, told a, me, no, don't waste your time. I'm like, no, there's no, a lot no. of super groups yeah. going on or, around right now, and it's you know, it's 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 a natural progression. Of, you know, it's like I think the the hair metal thing. It you know, it peaked. I I don't know the resurgence a couple years ago. I That's guess. Yeah, yeah. A couple you know, years ago. Yeah. it's now, a twenty year cycle because I remember like 2008, 2009, 2010. Those were really good years in the in, in the band and LA Guns. I was seeing this resurgence. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of tapered off a little bit. You'll think uh, it'll come back in 2030. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and the whole, everyone keeps <laughs> <laughs> like that old black blues guy. <laughs> <laughs> but the people in the Midwest, they go off. They they are yeah, rabid it's for it. Still. Yeah. Still. How different the crowds are, and I'm not saying Vegas crowds are bad because they're always good. Um, I was th- throwing your voice very nicely there. Um, so, um, 
uh, what was I saying? Um, it, it's diff diff different how the crowds react. Usually Midwest has always been such a stronghold for live music, you know, so. Right. Uh, it's always great to play there. There's a lot of great places, though, know, but, um, you know. Yeah, I lo I lo we love when we see the, like, we are over at Sam Ash and we see the 13 year olds with their Guns N' Roses shirts and they're carrying their guitars. <laughs> and we're just like, yes, it's still alive. It's still alive. <laughs> So now you you teach guitar or something over there, right? Some uh, once yeah, in a while. Yeah, um, I've taught for many many years, and I'll take a break from it for five or six years if I'm touring a lot. Um, but uh, I now that I'm not touring as much, um, I yeah started teaching guitar actually over exclusively over at Sam Ash. So yeah, anybody uh, wants to take lessons and learn a few things <laughs> from my. 30 plus years of playing. Um, he might know a few things. <laughs> he knows a few it's things. That's awesome. So, uh, and that's cool too because, you know, what I love about Vegas and what I try to tell people that are thinking about moving here is like, you know, it just, I remember our first show with Let It Rock. It's like we were doing morning television. We were on comp, you know, uh, doing interviews and stuff. And it was like, you can't do it. That would never be able to do that mm -hmm. in L.A. You have you to know? go through a couple agents and no, pay. It, it, it's it, just... It would be like, you know, pulling, pulling so much red tape just to get on television in L.A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or um, even teaching at, a, at at Sam Ash, like, in, like well, they don't do that in, in the L.A. store, and I know those guys well. But So there's really a lot of, that's what I love about Vegas, there's a lot of opportunities to do different things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We you can't know. say enough about it. We just we just love it here. More opportunities. Here. Yeah, yeah, it's Absolutely. just really. Yeah, yeah. and really it's a cool are. city That's awesome. too. And it's it's easy to, to 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 you know. There's not much traffic, and uh, it's a for, very affordable to live. And unlike LA, um, <laughs> uh, traffic in LA is just uh, you know, right. <laughs> now. How does it? I mean, how does it, uh, it? It's weird. Some bands, if you you change members, it's it's over. You know, like you. You couldn't put in a new. You couldn't put in four new people and say this is Led Zeppelin. Right, right. People aren't going to buy it. Mm -hmm. So how do you get away? You know, how does a band like let's say L.A. Guns, who's yeah. changed right. a couple of times since you know Tracy <laughs> since Tracy Guns days, yeah. how does that band like still? You know, how do they still thrive? Is it because the music's good or? I think that they, they, they just they, they, they fan base. I, I, I think they just that, evolve. You know, Phil's got such a distinct voice and. Um, I think that's important. It's like to have the um, original singers always. Uh, always a good the thing. voice. Always, always the having voice, the voice. You know, unless that guy dies or something. You know. <laughs> right. Uh, find someone that imitates his voice. Yeah. And I, I think <laughs> sometimes or... some of the people just love the songs, whether it's the LA, both LA Guns, or the two Warrants, or the two whatever. It's you know they uh, sometimes they don't know. Stacy's replacement LA Guns is Asian and like twenty years yeah, younger. Yeah, people die. Dude, I, I, I had a great conversation with. <laughs> I still think the I, weirdest, oh, the really? weirdest replacement ever is is a uh, guy from Journey that's doing it now. They, oh, yeah. Yeah, that right. guy from YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, they found him on YouTube. Yeah. The Journey people were like, check this guy out. And, I'm sure there's and still now he's the guy. Awesome now he's the guy. It's Phil Padina or whatever right. his name is. Yeah, I mean, there's it's... probably still a few fans that still think it's Steve Perry, I bet. You know, <laughs> They'd be like, he, he's, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's looking really good. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, a, I mean, his voice, I mean, just if you can mask it like that. But I mean, there's there's some you can't. You, there's no way you'd ever be able to replace Robert Plant. No. You know. No. no, I mean, there's certain guys. I mean, like, can you imagine Aerosmith without Steven Tyler? Yeah, you'd right. like, that there's band's over. Bands Rolling Stones. Yeah, right. that's over. Yeah. Rolling Stones. You know, um, I think if you have a history of changing so many members, people are just like, oh, whatever. You know, I mean, um, what's cool about this in, in, in a different take on what I'm doing with Let It Rock, it's like, it's a new thing where... It's not a huge brand yet, but it's something that it's not, you know, something